Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about how you can set up cardio fitness levels in WatchOS 7.2 or later and iOS 14.3 or later. Apple has added an all new cardio fitness feature in WatchOS 7 and iOS 14 that lets you keep track of cardio fitness levels through VOT Max measurements. For those unfamiliar, VOT max is the maximum amount of oxygen that the body can use during exercise, which you can bolster through physical activity. Before watchOS 7.2, the Apple Watch could only estimate higher levels of VOT max with outdoor walks, runs, or hikes. Thanks to this all-new feature, it can now take cardio fitness measurements as users walk throughout the day, which makes it incredibly helpful for the folks who don't engage in intense exercise as they can now see their cardio fitness levels. It's worth noting that Apple measures cardio fitness levels as high above average, below average or low relative to people in your same age group and of the same sex. That said, let me help you set it up in the health app on your iPhone. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. To begin with steps, launch the health app on your iPhone. Now tap on the browse tab at the bottom. Next, search for cardio fitness and select it. After that, you have to scroll down to cardio fitness levels and tap on setup. Next up, you need to confirm your health details. After that, you can tap through to find out more about cardio fitness. Besides, you also have the option to turn on notifications if you want to receive notifications when cardio your fitness level is low. Finally, tap on them to finish. That's pretty much it. Going forward, the smartwatch will take cardio fitness measurements during outdoor runs or walks, and the information will be aggregated inside the health app. If cardio fitness levels fall too low and notifications are enabled, the Apple Watch will send alerts with suggestions on how to improve it. If you have found this guide helpful, like and share it. And I'll see you in the next video with more such cool iOS and watch. Hacks. Till then, have a wonderful time. Bye bye.